has handed these states the evidence that this is not storytelling, this is not anecdotal, this is real. Now, the eight people who are facing prosecution, they were sort of your middlemen or, so to speak, intermediaries. It must have taken the two who have custody of the passwords to ensure that eventually, finally, changes would have been made for these placements. So the minister and the director general, who did they give the passwords to to operate if they didn't operate it themselves? And they would clearly know who it is that made way for the fraudulent activity to go on. When are you identifying these people? And when are they joining the eight who are standing prosecution in court? Samson, first of all, there is a very big misconception out there. Uh, because the commentary that has been run and the perception is that those eight individuals were intermediaries and some way, somehow, they were working with the Ministry of Education. The Ministry of Education had rented a private facility at the Nart Hostel, which, I mean, operated as a resolution center where we were serving the general public. So it was possible that anybody could just get in, make, I mean, establish the case, advance the reasons why probably there has to be changes for his or her ward. Within this process, it's possible, I mean, there the, the could be compromise. Somebody can also take your money and, and make a very strong case, and then uh, without even any officer at the ministry taking money. But of course, I mean, the exploitation continues. The point I want to make is that in this case, not... in this case, this uh, is this Charlotte or what was her name, uh, lady, who appeared to have been sort of the kingpin, who was running the game. Rahel, is it Rahel? Ra Good. She. You see and hear in the video, <clears throat> in the investigative piece, talking to people on the phone and telling them how she may even have to increase, also put her own cut Next. on the amounts that they demand that she should collect before she brings the names for the changes to be effected. She was identified to have worked at the ministry, okay? So, Thompson, the, the, the understanding that I have from uh, Manasseh's video is that she was a former uh, worker uh, with the ministry where she used to work with the ministry's canteen. She was not even working for the ministry per se, but a private individual who was working for the ministry's canteen. That's right. And I am happy. I am happy at this stage, especially when such a person has been identified. I am sure the security agencies should be able to even help us fish if indeed such a person was dealing directly with a person or an officer of the ministry. Of course, you are dealing with a human interface. It is possible that indeed you may even get an officer at the ministry being compromised. But to, to suggest that because the Minister for Education and the Director General of GES has access to Category A, so some way, somehow, I mean, they, they should be implicated. It's not, very not that Not that they have access, but that they are the only two with the passwords to be able to effect the eventual change. Well, I know, uh, like we say in our parlance, they are big men. So they may have given the power to some officers within them to work. So they clearly can identify who it is that was effecting these changes. If they can identify that, that, then yeah. there was no reason the purpose of giving the passwords to only two people has been defeated. Uh, yes, something. And that could only come up through thorough investigation, especially with collaboration with the security agencies. But the point I am saying is that, yes, they have the password. But for instance, earlier on, I explained the part of the schools, how they operate. For instance, if you go to, let's say, a school like Presec Labor or Wesley Girls, and then deal with any of their old students or the headmaster, and your protocol is approved there, 
and is loaded on the ministry's page or the CSSPS platform. The only thing that whoever has access to category A school does is to test confirm uh, that the protocol has been accepted. So the fact that you hear somebody on phone peddling influence and suggesting that he is dealing with somebody from the media. So I'm not sure if something today, I want to peddle influence with multimedia. I'm going to use the name of the security. Obviously, I'm going to use somebody who has built a reputation like you. Mm. But I'm going to use, uh, 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 how do you call it, a bigger person at your end. But to conclude, <laughs> that because somebody I, was- I think we are talking about different situations here. <clears throat> are we how not? different something? Because two people are holding the password so yes. that you will narrow to know who has used the password when, who has placed who when. If you are giving 5% to schools, headmasters, a headmaster of one school has 5%, which may be just five people. But the education ministry or service has 10% or 5% of the totality of the students who have qualified to go to school. So that's a huge number. No, it's wrong. It's wrong education out there. Really? And I stated 20% goes to the public through the automatic placement system. The remaining 10% is distributed evenly between the Ministry of Education, uh, which obviously is for the general public, and then the schools themselves. And I'm saying that, for instance, if you look at the model or the approach which the schools uses to upload their protocols, it is not, it doesn't go through, for instance, any quality assurance mechanism. What they do is that they just have to exhaust their quota. In exhausting their quota, what the ministry or whoever has access to the password, granted is even the minister for education, at least for the purpose of our discussion, have to do is just to okay it. You understand? Within the ministry of education too, the possibilities are that. I am turned into a guru boy, in turn, turns the minister into a guru boy, and then he facilitates whatever, I mean, a protocol that has been submitted to him. Obviously, if you are calling for, I mean, for auditing purposes to be able to identify person A, person B, the Ministry of Education has already earlier on noted that, I mean, put a notice that we are very open to that. And that will obviously come out through police investigation, especially now that um, through the assistance of Manasta, some arrests have been able to meet. Okay. What it means is that such a person should be able to mention whoever he contacted at the ministry, if indeed it was the ministry. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying that there is also a possibility that a person might have also dealt with an institution. Again, the person could have even gone to the resolution center, presented a very good case, and his issue has been resolved without paying a dime to anybody. So I am happy that such a person has been arrested and ultimately mm -hmm. investigation is going to establish Okay, so, 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 so my, my very final question to you, Mr. Kwating, is this. Because you are so concerned and you are happy and have welcomed this evidence presented to you by the Fortis 